So it finished at Meadow Park, Arsenal 4, Reading 0. This was a game that Arsenal had wrapped up inside half an hour, really. Three goals. First one from Vivian Miedema after great link-up with Stinner Blackstinius. Second goal from Katie McCabe after Blackstinius had a shot cleared off the line. Third goal, thumping header from Leah Williamson. And then Stinner Blackstinius uh, scored a goal in the second half from a Vivian Miedema cross. Really consummate, professional and very, very dominant performance from Arsenal tonight. Just from the first minute, they all looked on it. And I just sense that since that second half against Brighton around five, six weeks ago when Arsenal came from behind to win 2-1, I just sense there's been a real click in this team. There's been some really, really good performances. It's just such a shame that in the Manchester United game that Arsenal had to start with two very unfamiliar centre-backs. Um, which I think disrupted them a little bit in that game. But other than that, I think Arsenal have just been really, really strong over the last few weeks. And I think there's a few things going on there. I do think there is a little sense that, um, you know, Jonas's kind of ideas are really beginning to transmit. The quality and the intensity of the counter-press tonight was just outstanding. Arsenal created so many chances from turnovers. The, the crispness of the passing seems to be back, which deserted Arsenal a little bit either side of Christmas. Punching balls between the lines, and I think the fact that Leo Williamson is back is responsible for a lot of that. But as well as increased understanding, I think um, some of the new signings have really added a freshness to this team. So Hafai Elliott centre-back alongside Leo Williamson, that already looks like it has the makings of a fantastic partnership. Both very similar players, very front-footed, very aggressive, and both very comfortable on the ball. Uh, both can drive past players, both very, very good passers as well, both long and short. And it's just added a bit of a new dimension. It just means that the ball travels forward a little bit more quickly when we have those two at the base of the team. But also Stinner Black Stinius has come in and we've seen Vivian Miedema drop into that number 10 role. And, and Miedema looked really, really on it tonight. Again, the intensity of her press was outstanding. Some of the spaces that she was finding, the passes she was finding, and she was a threat in front of goal. Uh, Jonas was just asked about that in the post-match press conference, and he said, look, the 10 is just a starting position for Viv. It doesn't mean that she doesn't get in the box. Um, and you saw that tonight with her goal, uh, with her assist for Stinner as well. Um, you know, not, not hugely different, really, to the way we usually see her play, to be honest. But the difference is with Stinner up there, there's a number nine up there all the time now. So when Viv comes short, it's not um, a case that there's nobody running in behind, which I think began to happen again either side of Christmas. Now, it just means that Arsenal have always got that presence in the penalty area. And Arsenal just looked really, really formidable tonight. Jonas said in his post-match press conference that he really enjoyed watching the game. Um, so did I, I think. Um, and Reading just really, really got pegged back. And you could see from the first few minutes that it was going to be a long night for them because the speed of Arsenal's interplay was just so, so strong. And you could tell that those Reading defenders were just going to get really, really tired by the extent to which they were pinned back. So really, really good win for Arsenal. That puts them five points clear at the top of the WSL, albeit Chelsea have two games in hand. But because Chelsea are in the Conti Cup final on Saturday, Arsenal play again in the WSL before Chelsea at home to the bottom club Birmingham. Now, Arsenal, of course, lost to Birmingham away in January, so you can't take anything for granted there. But they've got a chance to go eight points clear and really pile the pressure on Chelsea, albeit they'd have three games in hand. But they'd be under pressure to win all three of them if Arsenal can build that lead. And, and at the moment, I just think Arsenal look, look really on it. They look really intense. Uh, they all look like they really know what they're doing. Um, some of the subs that came on tonight, you know, when you can bring on Tobin Heath, Jordan Nobbs, uh, Laura Weinreuter as well coming on in the second half. You know, really, really quality players. Nikita Paris wasn't in the squad tonight. Um, you know, Arsenal, you can field nine subs in the WSL and Nikita Paris couldn't get on the bench. So that tells you a little bit about the depth that Arsenal have available as well. But one game at a time and all that. Birmingham at home on Sunday and a real chance to build a good lead at the top of the WSL.